Craft Warehouse followers, today we are going to be making a boho centerpiece and we're going to do that using some of our fun assortment of faux succulents. I have one of my favorite tin trays here, of course moss, and then we're going to go ahead and add some crystals. So I have an amethyst base cut today that I am going to be using. So let's get started. Okay, so I got my uh, tin container that I like here. It's got some fun little dots on the side. Um, if I wanted to, I could paint this and give this a whole nother look, but I, I really like the way the tin looks. It just kind of goes with that boho kind of look I'm going for. Um, and it is about three inches deep to give you um, kind of some idea of what I'm working with here. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab my moss. I have a tri moss bag so I'm just gonna go ahead I'm gonna pull it right out and put it right in the tin now I can just leave it like this how it came out of the bag or if I wanted to have it a little bit more sectioned I can go ahead and kind of pull this apart here and just kind of mix my grass a little bit more if I'm not wanting all this too I Oh, recommend the scissors. Scissors cut this really nicely and get them into smaller groupings of moss and really have it all mixed up. I really didn't mind the way it looked originally just pulled out of the bag but again it's all down to preference and what you like. What's going to fit with your vibe. So I'm just going to go ahead and I am using the whole bag in this project. I like having all the moss because I think it fills a tray nicely. It keeps the faux succulents near the top, which I like. Um, but you do not have to have it this filled. You could have it a little bit more sunken in. Okay. So now that I got all my moss in there, giving me a good little base for my succulents, I'm going to go ahead and grab my bigger ones. So thing I like about the faux succulents is they're so easy just to go ahead and bend. I don't have to worry about cutting the stem. I could even bend it like this. Um, but here I'm just going to kind of bend them straight and shove them right through. You might have to adjust so if, in case you're hitting the side, but for the most part you can just wiggle it on through the moss. Then I'm going to go ahead and grab this bigger succulent here too. I'm going to put it on the opposite side just gonna wiggle it on in through that moss and then okay I like this guy here I got some little ones let's go ahead and do this kind of medium size so it's got blue with some hints of pink at the end so I'm gonna I think I'm gonna go ahead and pop him into this side kind of up against that reddish succulent so it'll kind of bring out that colors um, I really love these guys. They're so easy to just pop the stems off. So I can really put these wherever I want. I'm going to wait till the end to put those. I'm thinking I'm going to put them around here. But first, I want to go ahead and put my string of pearls. And this is really nice because it can kind of drape over the edge. Or I could ha lay it in here so it's really filling my whole tray. But I think I'm going to partly have him hanging off the edge here so I'm going to shove him right in there kind of let him drape I don't know if you guys can see that how it's kind of draping off the edge I really like the way that looks so we're going to go ahead and stick with that I'm going to readjust this guy I'm going to have him on this side and then I think I'm going to pop these kind of mixed in with that string of pearls. Ooh, I'm really loving that. And then I got one more kind of bigger succulent that I'm hoping I can find a space to push them through. Kind of fill in that front end of my um, bowl here. And then I'm going to go ahead and put that crystal I have back here. I'm just going to kind of flatten out a spot that it'll sit nicely in. And I'm hoping that it'll look like, yes, oh yes, I love it. I wanted it to look like the succulents kind of growing out from underneath it. Oh my gosh, I just love this piece. Okay, 
Now, another thing, if you're wanting to have a little bit more vibrant green, kind of like this guy, we have some um, forest moss, which is really great. It's very soft, and it's the chartreuse color is so bright. I just love to kind of mix it in, and again, then it just adds a whole nother texture to your piece here. And you can really pop them in wherever. Um, I love this for if I see any stems and I don't like the way the stems look, I can go ahead and cover the stems. But right now, I'm just kind of, I'm filling in where it needs a little extra love, maybe a little pop of color. I really like it kind of coming out around this um, amethyst piece here. And then I'm probably going to put some kind of underneath this string of pearls. Okay, let me kind of sweep up this moss and hopefully you guys can see this really well. I'm going to kind of rotate it. See how simple that was? And it is a perfect piece. You could have this year round or it's great for your summer, springtime. So simple. It could even be a great housewarming gift. All right, you guys, thank you for joining today and happy crafting. Mm -hmm.